get this first cast out. Here we are. First cast out there, ready to go. We're gonna start soaking that fella and we've got one more setup that we're gonna get ready and get cast out there. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the Upper Texas Gulf Coast and to my channel, MDLR Fishing. It's been a crazy one this week. Uh, I've been all over the place. We went into the marsh and Mother Nature has uh, dealt us another cold front. Um, so when I went in there, it was empty. There was really nothing there, no bait, and also no game fish whatsoever. There were still some carcasses from the redfish kill on the previous cold front that blew through and emptied out the bay system. And uh, yeah, just kind of sad to see. However, I did uh, happen to notice some fish fry. So the hatch has taken place and with the coming days and warm weather, I look for those guys to start fattening up and getting a little bit bigger and then it won't be too long before the redfish start blowing up on those guys in the marsh. So it kind of makes it easy for you to go out there and start sight casting those fellas. Um, also, the Houston Fishing Show, I will be there today, uh, Thursday, February the 15th, and uh, look forward to meeting some of y'all that are going to be going there. I will uh, be at the Bugs Fishing Booth and then also Old 18 Outfitters. So I'll be hopping between both of those booths and again looking forward to meeting y'all saying thank you for the support that y'all have shown me through the years. So it should be a good time and then I will also be there again tomorrow Friday the 16th at both booths and uh, that's just in case you can't get there today. So hopefully I'll be able to see y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Let's see if we can catch some big black drum with some of these live blue crabs that are just freshly cut in half. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good one in store for y'all. Had to play musical chairs really quick. Put the big setup over there since we cast it out to the right. This one's gonna go to the left. Looking for the big bite. Big bites only. And now we truly wait. So I don't know if there's gonna be some, like the wake causing it, but I heard the drag barely click and I can see the rod tip bending a little more than what it has been oh, i'm just waiting for that drag to go off i don't really see any big swells all right well as much as i would love to feel a fish at the end of the line but nothing there so let's go ahead and put this fella right back up Yeah, we'll continue waiting for something to truly get a hold of it. Okay, it's the second time that this rod has been like thumped, so to say. And it did not look like the current unseating my spider weight, which is what I believe happened the last time. Here, let's stand over here towards this side because I don't want to be staring into that sunlight. Oh man, I thought we were gonna get hit for sure. Or I thought we were hit and we were gonna get hooked up. Come on, Are we, we only have like two hours before I gotta pack things up and head to the fishing show. So this would have been perfect. Yeah, maybe that tide, the current is just really ripping through here and it's probably just unseating my spider weight over and over and over again. But what's funny is this one right here 
nothing is happening to this line. Maybe it's not out there as far as the big setup. We can cast significantly further with that fella. There's just a lot. Oh no, that's getting hit. All right. Anyhow, I'm gonna check my bait. If we're not getting hit, we're not getting hit. Oh well, bait needs to be checked. So we'll hold on to this fella really quick and see if we can feel those few thumps. Usually when you, you hold on to the rod, you're able to feel what you're not able to see at the rod tip. I mean, everything gets transferred through that braid right into the rod, so I can feel something. But I mean, I definitely feel the current ripping. It's brushing against the line and you can feel that in the rod. What I wanna know is, is there a fish at the end of the line playing with my crab? Black drum will swim along and they'll pick up your crab without even swimming off with it. They'll just pick it up in their mouth, crush it in the back of their uh, throat with their crushers and then spit your crab back out all without even letting you know that they are on your line. And the only way you're gonna feel that is by holding your rod tip. I mean, that's happened to us several times in the past where we throw our line out. Next thing you know, we get a crushed crab when we're checking our bait. I mean, you'll know it's been crushed because it literally looks like something just crushed it, sucked out all the internal juices and meat, and then spit the shell right back out. Pretty cool to see, but uh, not pretty cool to happen over and over again on you in the same day. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything holding the rod. I, I don't feel anything. That's gotta be my weight constantly just getting shifted and as it shifts, it, the rod tip just kind of bounces a little bit. Wow, something Something got a hold of it. Look at that. Something really wanted to eat this thing. I'm gonna say that was probably a fish. Huh. All right, we're gonna take this off and rebate. Uh, get another fresh crab on there before we gotta go and I'm gonna go check the little setup as well and see if we get anything on that fella. What's up Mark? How's it going? Shit, going? Yeah. Man, slow? Try, trying to hang in there. Yeah, it's been super slow brother. Then we'll give you some of these. Oh, okay. Check them out man. See if you like them. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try them. Catch anything yet? Nothing, bro. I mean, it, you it looked like it, I'm got. I'm using crab. Crab. It looked like uh, only two bites, but then again, when the current was ripping, it could have right. like uprooted my damn weight and just that little bit made it, you know, kind of. Yeah, yeah it's supposed to be incoming tide for the majority of the day. Yeah. Well, well, good luck, man. Yeah, you we'll, too, we'll brother. Hopefully, I what got do you? Mullet. I you got mullet. Well, I'm, I'm getting ready to have to take off to go to the fishing show. Oh, are you? Yeah, so... I may do the same. I, uh... If... I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reel these in here, and if... I gotta leave at 11, oh, so that's you what... You got to go to? You're gonna go to the Bugs? 12, 12 more minutes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hang out at Bugs and Old 18. Oh, okay. Uh, if you want these crab, if they're still on there, they should be in decent shape. I just put them on. Yeah. Hopefully you'll do better than, than what I did. Yeah. Yeah, I could have swore I got hit two times, but yeah. I set the hook on one setup and nothing was there. Yeah. You got them on their hole or what? No, I, I've got them cut in half. Oh, okay. Yeah, and who knows, man? Yeah, who, you never know. Who knows? All right, man, good luck. <laughs> All right, thanks. I might see you at the fishing show if nothing goes okay. smoothly here. Cool.
another uh, resident YouTuber here in our area, Third Coast Fishing. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, he builds his own leaders right here. Third Coast Fishing and Tackle leaders. That's a uh, 16 knot circle hook and cable four foot long. It's similar to what we're using. A four foot leader, two segments. He's got some heavy duty stuff. This is what I really need to get. The bigger barrel swivels. But yeah, it's uh, very similar to what we're using and, and we all pretty much use the same concept. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, I think this is my last update, everyone. Um, probably got 10 more minutes now, yep. Exactly, 10 more minutes to go. Uh, I'm gonna start packing things up and bringing these setups in so that I can hurry up and get to the show. Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes. I mean, you can't always win every time you come out here, no matter how hard you try and you wish for it it's just not always going to happen not always going to happen so uh yeah thanks for watching this one it's unfortunate but i mean we get skunked every now and again as well so i'm gonna pack things up uh, i thank each and every one of y'all for watching i appreciate all the support for those of y'all that are interested in the gear that we're using that stuff's going to be linked down there in the video description so check it out if you go to amazon and make a purchase from one of those links just know that we do make a small tiny commission so i appreciate that as well and to everybody else that's going to show up to the fishing show i'll see y'all there can't wait to meet you until next time tight lines y'all